I used to be lead singer of Hard Meat. You probably remember us, we influenced a lot of bands. In fact, Axl Rose says the first time he put on that kilt, that I had a big hand in it. Well, you're probably surprised to see me here in this domestic setting, but you know what? I'm a cook at heart. So when my mates at EMI Virgin Music said they wanted someone to host this rock and cook special, well, I was naturally 14th choice. I'm honoured to be standing where people like Steve Tyler and Perry Farrell, Kurt Cobain, Cliff Richard all refused to perform. Now, today, I'm going to be giving you some lessons in how to prepare tasty meals that will be wonderful for your firm, young, growing bodies. We're also going to be hearing some tasty new sounds from EMI Virgin Music, perfect to help you expand your growing bank accounts. Well, let's have a look. Four o'clock, afternoon, time for breakfast. Nothing wakes you up for breakfast like a nice slice of pizza. But you don't want to go down to Domino's for your pizza. The first stop for a great pizza is the freezer. Now, helping me open the freezer is my dear friend, um, uh... I'm Tiny. Yeah, of course it is. Uh, what a great memory she's got. OK, open up the freezer then, darling. Now, don't make a whole production. Remember who the star is. OK, take out your pizza. Now, the thing about a pizza, of course, is that on its own, it's a little bit on the ordinary side. What you've got to do is customise it for breakfast time. So, what I like to do is put on a few cornflakes, for example. Have you got the cornflakes, darling? Yeah, cornflakes, very nice. Give it that kind of breakfast flavour. Then I like some fruit, uh, frozen but freshly thawed, you know, because that way it's got a nice bit of mush about it. Put a little bit more on there. And, of course, croissant for the international flavour. Any French people in the audience will tell you that's really lovely stuff to have on it. But don't forget protein. It's very important. So I recommend having on, not you, but having on some of this stuff. It's just sausage, bacon, eggs, and you dollop it all over there, pop it in the oven for about the length of this new video from Stone Temple Pilots, and voila, breakfast. Oh, not everyone likes a traditional breakfast. Some dudes prefer stuff like muesli. I don't like it. It's loads of grains and stuff. It's not even fresh. It's already in a box, isn't it? So what I recommend is you make your own muesli. Very simple. What you do, take a few things like this, Wheaties. Lucky Charms, I like these. Very nice they are. Put in a few crunch berries. That's a bit of crunch. Cocoa Puffs, lovely stuff. Yeah. Some Rice Krispies. Gives you your snack, crack and pot, doesn't it? Put that in there. And last but not least, smack, the real stuff. Now, people put milk on this, but milk is horrible stuff, isn't it? Udders and all that sort of pulling stuff. I like to use a bit of Bex. I and mean, put it on there, it's very nice. And while we're listening to this, we can actually listen to Lemonhead's new video. Delicious. You know, one of the hardest dishes to prepare for a tasty pre-lunch snack is your macaroni cheese because it comes in a cardboard box and it's fiddling, don't want to know, do it, can't open it. Music lovers, use the tools of your trade. Use a plectrum. Very handy for opening up a box like that. Absolutely perfect, isn't it? Then, for slicing cheese, what I tend to use is either an E-string, or if it's one of them runny cheeses like sort of Camembert or Brie, I go for my G-string, because this is really good, you know. Well, after, all, after all these years, you think I know how to do that. Anyway, what we do is we pop it all into the bowl, like that, Actually, this cheese, uh, it's already well sliced. We don't need the cheese slicer. Pop in the macaroni like that, and then you stir it up in a strict tempo. Got this, girls? None of that polyrhythmic 7-8 jazz as heads out stuff. Just do it like this while we watch this fantastic video from Raging Slab. Yeah, it's a bit more solid than I like, but if I can get the sticks out, make a lovely tom-tom. Now, the trouble with being on the road is you can't always get the food you want. For example, as you can see, I really like pasta, but you can't always get it. But recently I was on tour in Italy, and to my pleasure I discovered they just started doing pasta there, which is great. But being foreign, they don't know how to do it proper, because everybody knows you have spaghetti on toast. So, here's the authentic way to do spaghetti on toast. First of all, you get your spaghetti. Freshly opened cans, mark you. Then, you get a plate, a couple of slices of toast, wallop, put them down there, spaghetti again, on there, like that. Dollop it down, but here's the interesting thing. You want it nutritionally balanced and also to give a bit of colour on the plate, put in a few fresh French fries straight from McDonald's. Lovely. Now, while I'm having this authentic spaghetti on toast, enjoy this dose of winger. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. You know, 
If you're anything like me, I think most of you probably are exactly like me, you probably feel the chill occasionally, especially in the summer months. Here in Los Angeles, when the temperature dips below 85 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, it's about 40 degrees Celsius for you continental types, I keep the chill out by making up a nice bowl of hot soup. Not just any soup, mark you, I use alphabet soup. It's delightful stuff. Not only is it a cheap, nice way of having a hot meal, but also, you see, it gives you great inspiration for your lyrics. Not a lot of people know this, but Nirvana's first album was written after Kurt had a bowl of alphabet soup. Look, I'll prove it. Here's the entire lyrics to Smells Like Teen Spirit. See what I mean? Well, while I stir this up a bit, I recommend that you watch a sneak preview of Kurt Smith in the studio doing his new album. Meanwhile, I'm going to look for the lyrics for my next album. Right, let's have a look here. Hang on. Must be a P in here somewhere. I thought I saw a P. I love you, baby. What do you think, girls? Good, isn't it? Kind of subtle and poignant, but got a metallic attack at the same time. Well, I had to use the Scrabble edges, didn't I? Were enough vowels in the soup. Anyway, step aside a moment, girls. What I want to tell you about is more substantial food. How many times you go to your favourite gourmet restaurant, you know, like Burger King or McDonald's, you pick up an hamburger, pop it in your mouth, only you find it's not big enough to satisfy you. See what I mean? So I've come up with something new. Forget the Big Mac. Meet the really Big Mac. Look at that. Great, isn't it? Nice and big. I call this the Leaning Tower of Hamburg. Well, it's better than Leaning Tower Pizza. <laughs> anyway, while I sample this, why don't you sample this hot new track from James Brown? Put it there. Whoa, what? Wow. Right. You want a bite? No, all right. Hang <laughs> on, take a bite. Hang Come on. Come on. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. I got, sorry, I got a bit of a tummy upset. I think it's all this loud music. Never mind, this will sort me out. Oh, that's much better. But you know, man cannot live by meat alone. You know why? Because you've got to have salads for a balanced diet. Now, I know what you're thinking, salads is all that green stuff, vegetables not cooked. But no, you can have salad to snack. It's my own invention, I'll show you what you do. Take a load of your favorite snacks, mainly ending in O's, like things like Fritos, uh, Doritos, any stuff like that. Uh, what else you've got here? Yeah, Fritos, Felitos, Melitos. Mulattoes, stick them all in there, a lot of fun. Right, and don't forget these, these are very nice. These are honey, Greek mustard, sourdough, pe pretzel nuggets. Extra flash, impress everybody. But you also got to have a bit of dressing. So, where's my dressing jar? Can't see it, never mind. We'll mix it up like this. What you do, take a bit of oil, extra virgin oil. Richard Branson, clever lad, you see he's gone into the oil biz. Virgin, extra virgin, see that? Right, so put a bit of that on like that. Then you need vinegar, because that's what wine is, isn't it? Just a bit of vinegar. 1956 Chateau Lafitte de Rothschild Concord Grape. Perfect. By Mr. Manischewitz. So stick a load of that on. Now, mix that up a bit like that. And voila, salad to snack. And now what you need is we can munch on this while everyone else is going to munch on a bit of jellyfish, OK? Now... You can't enjoy this marvellous gourmet meal that I'm preparing unless you have a really most excellent wine. The one I recommend is this one, the Chablis, which comes in a convenient four litre bottle. Now, I'm usually amused by its arrogant bouquet. Thing about it is it's grown on the northern slopes of the factory, which gives it a sort of almost galvanised ferret quality, almost tungsten in its intensity. Let's have a taste. Yeah, I can get well trashed on this. While you sit back and enjoy this video from Tool, I think I'll quench my first. Welcome back. How is everything? What's, what's going on? What's happening? Entertaining, I'm entertaining on the trip there. Okay, hold on. Huh? That's better. Right. Entertaining on the cheap. Supposing you want to put on an elegant soiree that's uh, foreign for an evening, well, but funds are a bit on the low side. Dead simple. What you've got to do is improvise. For example, look at this very elegant, expensive package. Pâté de foie gras, nearly $20. But you can get this very cheap alternative here. Have a look at it. 43 cents. Worth every penny, I might add. But it's not just that. For example, you go to a restaurant, you get this expensive dish here, over $25. Way expensive. Whereas back here on the cheap side, look at this. 
for dog lovers. Right, OK, dog food. No, none of your guests will tell the difference. Just pop a little bit on a Ritz cracker like that and uh, just dish it up to the guests. They'll absolutely love it. Uh, Tawny, would you mind serving the guests? There you are. Certainly. Thank you very much. Uh, Randy, would you like to lick my fingers? Oh, it's rather nice, isn't it? Would you like another one? Ah. Uh, well, while they're uh, enjoying those uh, delicacies, I'm going to watch some porno. <laughs> uh, oh, for pyros. Well, that's wiped out the competition for the babes. Well, now we get to today's pièce de résistance. That means piece of resistance. Well, supposing you've got all the lads coming round, you want to put on a huge spread but you spare no expense. It's got to have dignity, it's got to have class, and it's got to have the dudes drooling. I recommend the party platter. Look at it, it's got all the business. Down here, you've got your appetizers and horses duvers and all that caper, very nice. Here, something substantial, the main course, something for you to sink your teeth into. And here, up here, if you've got a sweet tooth or sweet anything else, what could be nicer than a nice bit of dessert and a lovely smile to boot? Perfect, isn't it? And, of course, if all this lot looks a little bit ordinary to you, well, you can always spice it up. I suggest you add a few natural flavours. For example, here on the appetisers, you could do no worse than put on a bit of gourmet cheese. For example, you put a bit of American down here, and up the other flank, a bit of English cheddar. Very nice. Adds spice. Then, for your main course, I think a bit of mustard and a bit of tomato ketchup brings out the natural flavours. And up here, of course, for your dessert, what could be better than a bit of maple syrup, something like that, something like that, you know, and then a bit of chocolate syrup oh. there just to bring it out. I think it's rather nice, and I recommend it. And now, the latest celebrity product. We're all used to Paul Newman and his salad dressing, but the latest star to do his own food is my old mate, Rod Stewart. Look, Rod's instant whipped cream. It's great stuff as well, because it doubles his hair mousse. So the beautiful stuff about Rod is you can spray it, and it really works a treat. You see what I'm saying? This whipped cream is really absolutely brilliant. I love whipped cream. That's about it from me. I hope you learnt something from the cooking and that you enjoyed the hot cooking sounds from EMI Virgin Music. Bon appétit. <laughs> uh, makeup!